35 here on the line and anticipations are high today got two new footholds in the ground got more snares up so we're just up on our odds up on our chances Ben's down in Indy uh, at a wrestling tournament so I'm running alone and uh, yeah hopefully I won't I don't know it might be a good thing to have my hands full with a couple dogs Ground's hard this morning, so we're not walking through tons of mud. Probably won't see any fresh sign or tracks today at least. Might see some scat or something. Really looking forward to shed season too. After uh, we're done running the trap line here, we'll walk through. A lot of our main sections we don't ever go into. Let's see if we can find some of our bruisers. Oh, we got a fox. He's right there. Got him going through an open set. Or this fence set here. I'm actually not sure if we can keep him or not. I think it's... Uh, after season for trapping fox, but it's an incidental catch. I hate for this fur just to go to waste. Incidental catch rule for me is, I don't know, on one hand, we catch fur unintentionally, and uh, we hate for something to go to waste, you know? and just throw it out in the woods. On the other hand, if we were allowed to keep it, there are some people out there that would take advantage of that and say, oh, it was an incidental catch. If everyone would just be truthful and honest, some of these regulations might loosen up a little or we wouldn't even have to have them. That is the end of day 35 and there's no fur in the truck again today. We'll be back here tomorrow on day 36. 36 degrees? 36, day 36. Oh, day 36, yeah. Taking on a little bit of drift. Drifting snow and flurries. I actually looked at the forecast. I think we're supposed to get a little bit more tonight, which will make for some nice tracks tomorrow. Yeah. And that's still there. So we caught a yote last Sunday when it snowed. That's true. And uh, we just saw tracks right before we caught them. It was, they hadn't snowed maybe a couple hours and there were fresh tracks and there he was. Down snare. Man, walking along with my hands in my pockets, <laughs> all comfy and warm in these like fleece lined pockets. I really don't want to get these gloves out and put them on, but. If I put my stank on that snare, it's just as good as pulling it. I had quite a few snares down today. It's like down snare number four. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Dog in a foothold, baby. Came up over the... Oh, man. Hey. Yeah. Well, yes. we're walking up on him. Yeah, there's a little bit of a catch circle there. Well, we're definitely uh, deciding to put in the work to get this set. Reset, yep. Yeah. This is that spot that kind of comes off of a ridge way from back over this way, keeps coming all the way over here. And you can see this low sloping over here. They come riding right up through this and they sent check along here and come over and get nabbed. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting maybe one or two more here this season. It's just a great location. Dragging out about halfway through the line, so we actually have quite a bit left. A lot of potential to catch even one more, which we're always hopeful, but man, this, the drag out really adds a uh, positive outlook on the rest of the line. Combination of Probably four or five down snares, dog in a foothold, a lot of uh, deer tracks everywhere. There just really must have been a lot of activity last night um, in general. That's encouraging to know 
that took another one off the property that we've got a good amount of sets that are gonna produce if they start moving and uh, we feel pretty confident with that. Camping yeah, cold today, making our way to the line. Driving. A little silhouette action there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day 37. Got some fresh snow last night. Uh, coming off a dog yesterday. We left the catch pole there. So hopefully we don't have any incidental catches and footholds or snares on the way there. But uh, we're gonna walk the line in reverse um, and uh, pick up that catch pole at the top of the hill. I think we'd see something here soon though. Oh man, nice coating of snow. Well, we had a deer step in this foothold and then I suspect it freaked out and ran right down this lane and knocked my snare down. That's my attempt at being a CSI uh, specialist. Probably the closest I'll ever come to that. Yeah, we definitely had some activity last night. This is the second foothold we've come across and, no, third one, but the second one that's been tripped. There's and, a cat there. Yeah, we got cat tracks coming right up to it and I think maybe some coyote tracks if we look around. Um, I don't think there's any sign of fur in here. Uh, Just cover holes and... Man, we're hopeful. We're uh, not even, a, I think, not even a third of the way into our trap line. Ooh, that night latch is scary. <laughs> so, we forgot to grab the catch pole. <laughs> it must have been uh, covered up with snow and we had other things in our mind at the top of the hill, so we'll get it tomorrow. You know what, dude? Oh. What's that? It's a oh, there's a bunny. Suffer <laughs> moving. Man, we were hopeful today. Had a good sign, good tracks, a couple footholds that were tripped, and we were just, oh man, we were feeling it. No fur today. But uh, we'll be back here day 38 tomorrow. And uh, man, we just really appreciate you guys watching. We hope that you're learning something by our parading around <laughs> in the outdoors on this trap line, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Down snare number one. Yeah. First snare, and it's down. Starting off the line here on day 38, and it's pretty frigid coming across here. Seeing, yeah, seeing some deer tracks. Got down to about 12 degrees last night, so Chances are things were moving today. Hopefully we'll see some tracks and some sign to inform some decisions we need to make about placing traps and such. Down snare number two. <laughs> two for two. No, two for three. Wish our catch percentage was that high. About halfway through here, checking some of the new snares we set last week, and uh, well, no luck yet. Down snare number three. <laughs> well, the deer were moving last night. Down snare number four. Getting your exercise. Yep. So it appears as though something rather large, probably a deer, stepped into one of these snares and completely ripped out the swivel. At least I hope it's not a Yodi because there's alpha male and then there's that. <laughs> so. <laughs> I can't even imagine what that dog would look like. I'm pretty sure it was a deer. Again, I'm glad the deer's not sitting here. I mean, look at that. Pulled all the way out. Stretched it. 
I mean, that's some thick gauge metal. Coming to the end of the line here, and man, a whole crowd of crows to welcome us. Got maybe one more snare to replace that got spent the other day on an incidental catch. We'll be back up and running at full capacity. New snare here. Freshly dipped. Freshly dipped with some FMJ. Yeah, and these are from uh, Hoosier Trapper, and they do come pre-dyed, which is kind of nice. And they're pre-loaded, and they've got a great curl on them. Hang it and go. Oh, burr. <laughs> You're up for day 39. 39? Is that a lucky number? It so, is going to be today. It could be somebody's lucky number. It's ours today. Happening. We're happy to be ducking in here. Coming in that field edge. There's a kitty cat track again. Yep. Of the domestic persuasion. Kind of looks like kitty cats. Checked about six or eight snares so far. Empty. But, uh, yeah, seeing deer tracks. Little kitty cat tracks, bunny tracks, but uh, no yoke tracks yet. You guys ever see a tree sit on a fence before? Look at that. Right along the trap line. Just sitting there on the fence. It's setting a few more snares today. Back in this uh, wooded area here. Right over there is where the pond is. Or the ice rink or whatever you want to call it. And then... Uh, there's some there's some more ways to this timber on the, the on the back side. So we're setting uh, setting one there and uh, working on one here, and then we're gonna set one back on this side too. So uh, catching them going through this pinch. Trying these new split rings today too. I've been using them on my uh, footholds, but this is the uh, first day we're using them on the uh, snares. They seem to be working pretty well. Boom! Yeah, they're quick. Quicker than quick links? Yes, <laughs> they're called quicker links. And they're probably not quite as heavy as those quick links either, are they? No, and they okay. provide a nice, uh, you know, a nice hook if you want to mount your snare up high. Or yeah, they're not as heavy, so they don't pull the snare down off of the uh, off the hanger, which does right. happen. We've run into that problem before. Yeah, the other thing I like is the quick links are threaded. And they can get gunked up with mud, yep. water, they can rust a little bit, and after a whole season, you gotta use pliers just to get them, uh, get them off, of, uh, or break, break loose the threading. And it can be a pain in the butt if you don't have any pliers on the end. Yep. Finn just scared me coming up over this hill. That hole's got so much eye appeal up there. He's always getting my hopes up. He's always like, oh, or oh. What? Something just went running up there. Chupacabra? Oh, what? <laughs> I'm really befuddled that I've never caught anything here. You can see that lane comes down. There's a nice clump of grass, some sticks, and it just pinches so tight. But for some reason, they've never come down here while I've had a snare up. Boggles the mind. We have yet to see any Yodi tracks. None. Zero. I wonder if that's a good sign or... I mean, for the trapper it's not. For the whitetail hunter and us, we're delighted, but we know they're out here. We're not fooled by one day of no sign. This is the long trek across the field to our last two footholds and last two snares. You never know. It only takes one and uh, heading into the weekend, we're hopeful. Although we're not heading into a weekend, are we? Nope. <laughs> it's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm waiting for the weekend. He's ready for the weekend. Let's do it. Let's get this weekend on, baby. Bring it on. Friday. Brace the bray. Let's go. Doing it. Day 40. 
40? 40, 40. Golly. I know, dude. It's been 40 days. It's ridiculous. One third, no, two thirds of the way through the whole line. One third to go. Man, that's it's kind crazy. of kind of went by fast and kind of not. Kind of, <laughs> we're pretty proud of ourselves. We remembered the catch pole today. Right. Yeah, we finally found it. I don't know if we updated you guys on that or not. It was in the back of the truck. Of all places. We're tracking some fresh tracks here. Got a nice imprint. Yeah, there's amongst other tracks here I'd show you guys. But, uh, man, we're headed this way right towards our traps. Checking the new snares from yesterday. Setting the last of the uh, new snares in this location that we mentioned yesterday. Nothing? Nope. <sighs> we definitely know they were moving. A muddy mess tomorrow. Yeah. Or Saturday. Yeah, we're supposed to get all some the, rain. Yeah, all these footholds that are low it's gonna be washed out yeah it sucks this is a high point but it it's set in a dip yep. and uh it works really well for forcing the coyote into a particular position where they have to come at the at the set from the front and that almost guarantees a front front foot catch when it's all underwater all bets are off so as the weather changes, you know, this freezing and thawing and freezing and thawing and rain and snow, the locations we pick for our footholds are really key and we've kind of, you know, honed in on which locations hold up well to the weather over the past, I don't know, three or four years that we've trapped out here. Having that weather also kind of almost seasons the set and kind of bakes it in and makes it look like the rest of the landscape, but with rain. Um, and dirt holes, you're always going to have have floods. So we do use some of those pipe sets on some places um, to assure that kind of freshness. You know, yeah, it's going to be huge as we go into the weekend here, having some of those pipe sets and those kind of seasoned good locations. Staying wild on day 41. Catching something wild on day 41. I sure hope so, man. Dude feeling it. Adam called a double. I called a double back in the office. I'm going to stay conservative yet uh, positive and hopeful by going with a single. I'll yeah. take a single. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely take fur. Start of day 41 and we are within 20 days from the end of the line. Kind of crazy to think about. I feel like it's going to go fast. And that snare back there is empty. So, not a great start, but that's only one set. This is that south facing slope that we walk across, and we've got some snares through here. Um, but just down there, about 200 yards, is the Mississinawa River, and that's uh, oftentimes where we'll go waterfowl hunting. And um, there's waterfowl down there right now. Kind of kills us knowing that we're walking the line. Traps are empty, and there's a whole bunch of fowl down there just waiting to be taken. Dog in the open set. Once again. Once again. It's a good one. Time for drag out. Drag out number nine here. Today we were due. Stats don't lie. Sometimes they do. Oh, <laughs> Working on my fitness. Pulling out uh, coyote number nine this year for 2019. Happy to put some fur in the truck today. Adam and I have kind of talked off camera about, you know, a target of 10 to 12 for the season we think is a good impact. 
for uh, considering our, our area, the, uh, the line, as far as the amount of area that we can cover. And uh, we're, we're on track for that. So hopefully we'll hit that 12 number. That's kind of what we're going for. You think we can do it? Yeah.